And welcome back to the Heart of Chaos. I'm Javier once again, and I welcome you back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we managed to make get the Gust Bellows, which is a vacuum that lets us go wee -hee! Let's you mess with enemies. And in this episode of Skyward Sword, we're going to use this newfound item to gain more treasure and progress through the dungeon. Oh boy, what did we get? We got a blue bird feather. Very few small birds actually contain these feathers, and it's a rarer treasure. Uh, in case you have not noticed, the four bottom treasures on that list are probably some of the more rare treasures you'll get. I do not believe that it scales down based on rarity, but uh, it very may. Well, it, it may. Oh, look, a blob. Skip! It does not scale down based on rarity, but uh, you, you still... The last four are definitely of the rare variety. Now, the reason you're going to use the Gus Bellows to knock these guys flying is because, well, then they're out of your way. Though, be forewarned, you will not get... Be forewarned, why am I saying that so much? Like, seriously. That's getting annoying. I hate sticking to one particular word. Oh my... Going back. Going back. I don't even know why I jumped. How did I... I guess I just didn't get a head start running. That's probably what happened. This is why you always sprint. As some people who've played Skyward Sword have told me. You always sprint in this game. Why are you always walking so slow? I like to take in the sights. That's why I walk so... Oh, I thought he was on me. Huh. Depth perception fail. Now, uh, make sure you push down this block in case for whatever... Wrong way. For whatever reason, you need to come back into this room. Now, can I get up here? Yes, I can. I don't know why, but I felt that there might have been something up here that I was going to be terrified of. So let's go ahead and knock these this massive pile of dust out of our way, and we can get into the next room. Which is a transition. Why are there so many transitions in this dungeon? We'll never know, but there are. I guess that's one of the things reasons I consider this my least favorite is because there are so many tra there's like a transition for what I don't I don't really understand why there's a transition at all. And it feels like it breaks the flow a bit. Like there's two sides of this dungeon, but they're the same theme. So it, it, I don't know. To me it's my least favorite, but it's it's not based on hatred for the dun there's keys there and an electric choo choo. Why does that fail me every time he jumped off the edge? I can move on with my life. Alright, so we really can't do anything in here just yet. Um, I'm going to make my way back towards another room. You'll see in a minute. Alright, so I've made our, my way back towards this area that I said... Uh, you never go the right way first, and uh, I actually do want to explore it because we, well, there is a treasure chest up here and it's completely useless to us, but you might as well get it because it was bothering me. And uh, an enemy to kill, obviously. Uh, would have been nice that I had come up here first, but uh, I didn't, so there you go. Alright, so now back into the main room after a little detour to get 20 rupees, which I'll admit, openly admit, I forgot that was what that was. I thought there was something more important there, like a treasure we could actually use, but... You know, 20 rupees is not awful. I do, I do feel quite a bit embarrassed, though. Alright, let's get rid of these Arakas and uh, move this box onto the switch. Why are we doing that? Well, in case you didn't notice, iron bars are commonly moved by a switch. And that is how this place works as well, which is always neat. So let's make our way into the next room and hopefully get through it without any problems. Though it's this room, so I expect a whole multitude of problems. Alright, well you, you need to die. Sink sand! I don't like sink sand. Ah, that was a mistake! Nope, okay, not a mistake. I'm perfectly a genius for doing that with just the right amount of stamina and I totally planned that. Not a mistake. Stop it! See, they don't even do damage, they're just annoying. Jiggle. Dance for my amusement! He didn't dance for me, so I killed him. I know it's not the politest thing to do, 
Uh, now these things that are stand that are kind of in the sand as platforms, they're not just there to protect you from the six sink sand, which you know most people would assume they are. Instead, they're going to be used for something. Well, I mean, required, but be, but useful. Uh, as you can see, there's a time shift stone here. We're gonna kill him and then activate the time shift stone. And what does that do for us? Well, that changes the entire room. And now we kind of need these things to move forward. We're going to have to use the bellow, the wind bellows, to blow the what? What do you call these? I don't know what I would call those things. The levers? They're levers? Spin switches? I, I have no idea. But this is how you'll be progressing throughout this room for a while. Anyway, you need to come back. Blue is... Um, blue is always back, uh, red is always forward. So, that's how you'll know how to coordinate there. Anyway, let's go ahead and move this this way. And get a treasure chest. We got a monster horn! Woo! Skip! Okay. That it was that. So let's go ahead and move back in this direction. We don't need to go... Oh, maybe... Oh. So perhaps blue is one way... You know what? I'm not even going to try and logically put that together. That just... That doesn't work for me right now. So anyway, what you need to do is you need to blow this switch and continue to blow it until you hear the jingle. Don't try and run underneath. Because I've, that, that gave me so much trouble before. Oh, hey, it's a moving... Oh, wow, you can parry that! I had no idea! I just got curious! I mean, it weakened my shield a little bit, but oh my god, you can parry the lightning! I... I don't know what to say to that. That is... That is amazing. Parry, you're so overpowered! And it's so easy to do! I mean, all you have to do is spam it. I mean, literally, you can just spam it. I mean, sure, you risk what just happened to me, and my shield is now very much weak. Do I have a revitalizing potion? Because that might now might be the actual time to use it. And... Oh, these things. Uh, whenever you fight this enemy, you just gotta... Whenever he sends these things out, just make sure to get rid of them. Also, by the way, this is a centrobe. Uh, the security drone was built in ancient times. It is armed with missiles fired from a central turret and flying bombs fired with both from both of its sides. Analysis suggests you can repel the missiles fired from the central turret with a certain items at your disposal, such as your shield or your sword. You've defeated zero of this enemy, obviously, so there is no battle performance rating. All right, so go ahead and fire fire the missiles. There you go. And I believe it just takes two. There you go. It takes two missiles to kill. Uh, luckily for me, he didn't toss his rupees off the ledge, though he probably did anyway. Okay, so to get across, all we have to do is summon this side over to the right, where we'll be able to get on it. Okay, yeah. I was worried that, like, I jumped down too early, but no, I did I did that treasure chest the right way by jumping down. Okay. So all you gotta do is... Ugh. <sighs> Why? Just, just, just why? Do I really have? Is this like? Am I? Where did my luck go? I was doing just fine. I mean, the Scaldera fight was some was the best fight with Scaldera I ever had. I guess you win some, you lose some, but this is. I mean, I would rather have done okay on the Scaldera fight. I mean, nah. Where did my luck go? It's awful! Alright, you stupid freaking Beemos. Okay, we got another switch here that's gonna be, have to be used by the Gus Bellows in order to move forward. Now, uh, one thing I'm gonna point out about Skyward Sword is that Skyward Sword was heavily praised for its variety of item use in dungeons that's not single use. Uh, this is going to be heavily prevalent in later dungeons, uh, the first three being the dungeons that don't really use it as much, per se. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be fighting more of these Ow! I knew I hated you. Oh, wait. I didn't swing down. They're lying at this point. Oh, my God! Stop it! Stop it all... No, I'm just going to... I'm just going to get... I'm just mad now. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like you. Uh, this is this is pathetic. That killed it. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't like this enemy anymore. This is, which is awful because I like it design wise. <sighs> oh well. You know you win. It's I'm 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 just gonna cry in the corner. For I mean I have no reason no reason to be too upset. This is going very well, but just grr. Hopefully it's just for this dungeon, emphasizing maybe I'll hit this dungeon a little bit more and actually have reasons to hate it. Maybe it wants to, maybe they just want me to hate this dungeon. Because I'm trying very hard to like this dungeon. More than a, this, ah. You know, it's not even worth talking about anymore, I'm just angry. I'm just gonna play this entire game without commentary now. Well, no, that'd be stupid. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this box to get up onto this ledge. Which, on this ledge, is going to be a bunch more Arakas, which we can just blow off. I mean, funny thing is, you don't even have to really blow them off. Uh, they'll just die from one sword swipe, so it's not like it's a big deal. But I can see the reason why uh, they can slow you down pretty easily. That's an Amber Relic? Skip! I expected more than just an amber relic from that, but uh, you know, not gonna complain. I sp not gonna complain on that. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way across more platforming, and in one of these. Oh, I'm stupid. See, here I am using the mechanics of this dungeon the way I think I should, thinking I'll be going ahead. When really, the base observation would see that there's a thing in there that you gotta blow. Which reveals a time shift stone, which you can then use your slingshot to just hit. And that's how this area is going to allow me to move forward. Alright, so you can see that there's a new enemy down there. This enemy is an Armos. Armos have really gotten a makeover. I mean, in every single game with Armos, they've always been like, either hit them in the back, or use bombs. Now this one, this one requires you to use your gust bellows on the top of it and then stab what comes out. Which, a little, oh that's my slingshot. Oh that's my slingshot, where's the gust bellows? There it is. Alright. And open your mouth! And lucky me! There we go. You can take it down in one hit, but you usually you'll probably use two hits because they can be a little hard to hit sometimes. Okay, so that's what opens up both ways forward. So let's go ahead and get the treasure chest up there because there's no reason for us not to. And what I get, what I get, it's a puppy! Ooh, I hope it's a puppy. It's a very shiny puppy. We got the dungeon map. It shows the layout and air of the area and reveals unexplored rooms. So we now can see how much more of this place is left and in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're going to hopefully finish off the Lane Room Mining Facility, and I'm going to repair my shield. Yeah, I'll see you all then.